Hello everybody, it's the last Robocar here. Um, oh boy, I'm getting some, uh, some absolutely horrible responses from, uh, <laughs> from OBS regarding my, uh, my upload-download speed on this, and, uh, the number of frames being dropped. Let me just check this, make sure everything's going okay. Uh, uh that would be typical, wouldn't it? We'll try and power through this. Uh, everyone let me know how the technical difficulties are going. Uh, I've been having nothing but tef technical difficulties for the for the last week, unfortunately. But I get the feeling this might actually be... Um, I get the feeling this might actually be Twitch. So we'll, we'll, we'll try for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, last week, unfortunately, my internet uh, was going down catastrophically. Yeah, no, it's telling me I'm dropping flame frames all over the place and all sorts of stuff, so I don't actually know what's actually legitimately happening here. Maybe we're lucky. Um, maybe OBS is just giving me false positives. I kind of hope so. But basically, uh, what happened last week is storms came through. My internet's been spotty ever since. It comes up and comes down. Last week it went down a lot. Uh, so if I drop it any time during this, this stream, um, I'll come back after like five minutes because it doesn't stay down for long. And then, um, the other thing that happened to me, uh, and it's the reason why we're not really doing Resident Evil 4 today, is I had an accident uh, at the beginning of the weekend and injured my left arm. So, I kind of don't really like sitting it and resting it in the WASD place for too long, because uh, basically it's made my wrist, my fingers, and my elbow all kind of a bit useless. Um, it's a lot better now, but my arm is mostly a bruise now. <laughs> the swelling's mostly gone down, except around the elbow, but I'm also, like, mostly a bruise. So I thought I'd play a game that only requires one arm, and as it turns out, most games that only require one hand to play are banned on Twitch, but Trombone Champion is not, which is really weird, because I would definitely 100% have banned this game if I could. I used to play trombone at high school. I know the suffering this thing causes other people, the existence of the trombone. I am a trombonist. I am a tromboner. I am that guy. I was that kid. Everything that's bad about... Everything. And every every cliche about the trombone kid probably applies to me. Unless it's like really like involves crimes. Uh, then yeah, no. Uh, I definitely didn't do any of those officially. Uh, the only... <laughs> The only crime I committed is defending trombone playing uh, when I was a trombone player. I will not do that anymore. Well, let's uh, let's get started, shall we? So, are you sure you want to start a new game in slot one? Yes, I'm sure. I like the I like this game is very whimsical. I like this game a lot. There's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of wackiness to it. So yeah, again, let me just know how the technical stuff is because we may end up going for that long if it's just Twitch is having a meltdown. And so it comes to pass. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. Brave soul, one day you will stand before two baboons. One day you will rend the very fabric that binds this land. But until that day comes, you must toot. Toot your trombone, brave soul, and you may yet become the trombone champ. What was that Mozart? <laughs> I fucking knew he wasn't dead. I knew he'd be at the heart of all of this. Alright, so let's just quickly go to the same. I like I like how the screen shakes, by the way, when you when you when you when you whack over the options. So okay, so good. Our controls are not are, are not inverted. Because they've they've got a kind of a thing um, to try and match up how <laughs> V6 off. They know, they know. Um There's a sort of a thing in regards to like the, how they've set it up. It's it's usually inverted, because obviously if you want to go a low note, you go outwards when you're on the trombone. And if you want to go inwards, obviously to the higher notes, you go in. So they've got it set up like that. But the problem with that is, is for someone who actually did play trombone, you're not hand on mouse like that. 
um, because that would be like trying to swing from a jungle gym on the slide. You have your hand turned upwards, so it's actually still a different sort of... It's a different sort of motion, and it feels weird. So we're doing it without... We're not doing... We're not doing trombone realism. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, let's... Let's get in. So, we need to... We need to... I don't... Apparently they added hat. I don't understand it. Um, we've got we've got some these people we can choose from. I I'm like I'm instantly confused. Uh, cause like we've got Meldor, Germa Jesty, uh, Horn Lord. <laughs> Did they? They knew what that meant. And and soda. I mean yeah, it's kind of hard to top Horn Lord, but let's see what we got over here. Appaloosa, Beasley. Kazeli, Kazeli two, Trixie Bell. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going the Horn Lord. Um, we'll, we'll play with, we'll play with maybe some of these other ones uh, later. I, I, I was under the impression you could customize your character, but maybe that's unlocked later. Because I noticed there's like thing, there's there's a lot of things here we don't we don't have yet. So this this game this game has a lot of things. So the world of music awaits you. First, let's start with a warm up. So yeah, like we can't we can't pick anything but warm up. Um, and from what I can tell, uh, it's got a lot of spunk, fair bit of fury, definitely a lot of slides, not a lot of dudes, um, and not a lot of tears, which is makes it. I, I'm guessing it's not really a trombone song then, because let's be honest, um, it's it's tears, it's tears all around for a trombone player. Um, there was a joke I heard that has always stuck with me and like absolutely wounded me as a human being. And that was, like, what's the difference between a squirrel and a trombone player both lying dead on the side of the road? And the answer to the joke is, the squirrel might have been on his way to a gig. And so here's how we play. We just, see, I can do all this, I can do all this one-handed. They recommend maybe using, like, buttons on the keyboard, but, like, I'm fine using the mouse. So yeah, Hornlord, Hornlord begins his journey. Uh, you can't hold down the thing too long or you'll die. Um... <laughs> Just have fun! Just have fun! Just have fun. So we're just gonna warm ourselves up right now with Horn Lord here, so... You can, you can read along the lyrics? Uh, I can't see it. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm warming up my trombone. I'm warming it up extremely funkily now. God, it, look at all that spit. That's like the worst thing about the trombone is the sheer amount of saliva that ends up in a fucking trombone. And you know you've got too much in there because it starts to gurgle. If you've ever heard a trombone gurgle, it's like one of the most disgusting sounds in the universe. Dude. There we go! And look, we can even look at the graph that tells me I definitely... I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> what does that mean? Because that means how, how good my combo score was. So yeah, look at that. Uh, 501 toots. Um, card baboon. That's a little ominous. Uh, let's uh, let's go back to track select. We've probably opened up a lot more options now. We've opened up a lot of options, actually. Look at this. Good grief. There, there is a lot. There is a lot going on here. We'll be coming back to this one, obviously. Wait, what is... what does that mean? Not stream friendly. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've got some that are good for streams, some that aren't. Um, that's fine. I'll put it on YouTube and just get, like, smashed around. It's fine. Oh boy. Alright, well, obviously this one is... <laughs> this one is one of the filthiest instruments ever conceived. Emptying the, emptying the spit valve on a trombone is a fucking experience every time. 
So let's let's do let's do bold game. You know, this has become the theme song of North American baseball, although neither of the song's authors had intended had attended a game at the time of its writing. I'll believe that. I'll believe that. There are between two and four spiders living inside the average trombone. If you leave it out, spiders will move into it, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Suffering builds character Cause it's time to Ah oh, fuck the balls, they hit me! Getting hit in the face when you're playing the trombone hurts, by the way. If someone like taps your slide Who are these people? Oh god. This is exactly what I am so mad that I'm good at this game. <laughs> this is like... Oh god, he he head in my hands that, I that I'm actually like... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop giving me s ranks. <laughs> Those are famous photos. The originals are worth tens of thousands. To Americans. <laughs> Oh god, you see, I don't actually remember how to do the, uh, I don't actually know how to, how to sing the original for, for Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Uh, cause I only remember the version from Freakazoid, where, like, he arrests someone at a, at a baseball game and he sings that song. And so he's like, take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowd, tie with me, tie me with rope in a sailor's knot, send, send me to jail where I'll sleep on a cot, cause you broke, broke, broke the law. Off you go to the can, for it's one, two, threes in jail, I'll send you spam. <laughs> cool guy knows exactly the feeling. Uh, do we got any other, like, that was, that was an escalation. Okay, Sakura. This tradi- oh no, what is this? This traditional Japanese folk song, dating back to the Edo period, celebrates the beautiful cherry blossoms of spring. You guys ready to celebrate cherry blossoms on the trombone? What does that mean? I know they added these two things! What is... What is... Oh my god. <laughs> I only just noticed that, I'm like... Is that like, will it randomly select a song? I know they added Turbo on April Fools, I'm scared of that too. Um... Let's just, let's just... The first trombone was invented in 20 million BC. I could move 20 million years on from when I first started to play it. And I would still never escape the cringe. Oh no, it's this song. I'm in my own personal hell. Okay, no, no, I'm getting into it now. Damn, I dropped it. I dropped my combo. I got it back. I got it back. I got it back. We got the run back. We won. We, we were a champion by the end of it. Okay. Um, 
Freakazoid did not do a version of the song, so I couldn't tell you what it's about. Okay, let's do, let's do... Oh, no. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> you ever just, like, seen something and been more intimidated than perhaps you've ever wanted to in your life? Zarath... Zarathustra. The first part of this piece titled Sunrise became famous after being... Oh! Oh, yeah, we gotta do this one. We gotta do this one. If you placed all the trombones on end-to-end, -end, they would wrap around the solar system four times. That's a lie. There's probably only like four trombone players left in the universe. Uh... Fun fact, AIs cannot actually, um... AIs cannot actually, like, re you know, reproduce uh, trombone players. Uh, because the AI instantly crashes of Grinch. Awesome. Hey, let's press a baboon for no reason. Apparently we needed four S ranks to open that. Hello? 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 Hark! Art thou the one who hath been a knocking on my little hatch? Uh, yes. Ah, they are truthful. That is good. Is a knocking not what hatches are for, after all? I seeketh the trombone champ. Is it thine wish to become the champ? Um, yeah. You can say no when he just leaves. Oh ho, that is good news. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the primordial baboon, Toot Seeker Tom. <laughs> Allow me to show you something. Face thine eyes upon the toot vessel. Ooh, I don't have enough toots to fill it though. What is this? What is it for? How does, affect my, how does this affect my life? Personally? These are questions for which I have long since forgotten the answers. I don't think a baboon has ever considered those questions before in their existence. My bad. But I do recall the, the toot vessel requires toots. Feed it toots and the cleft shall awaken. That's why it's called the toot vessel, you see. It's literally a vessel for toots. Anyway, fill the vessel with toots so that the treble clef may awaken. Okay. Well, we'll put in all the ones we got, but I don't think we got enough. We gotta go. We gotta go get more toots. Yeah, look, I'm. I'm not. I don't have enough toots. I'll, I'll be. I'll, I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back. We gotta go toot some more, guys. We need to. We need to toot some more. We need to. We need to increase our toots. Uh. God, what would bass trombone sound like? I'd, probably best I don't. <laughs> I don't play with anything. Let's, let's go see if we can't find ourselves some other easy songs just to claim. Martian Killbots! Martian's attacking this remaster of a track from an old Holy Wow album titled Choose Your Own Adventure. You know what? Hell yeah. I don't know what the fuck this is. There are more trombones than- that's a lie as well. <laughs> that's- that's the biggest lie. Okay, we might be getting a bit too funky here for me, but we'll see how we go. I can, I can...
I can already feel the aliens invading my house. <laughs> well, we almost made it. But goddamn if we didn't slap the shit out of that song anyway. How many toots did I get out of that? I need, like, a little more toots. We need more toots. Just a little bit more toots. Why am I good at this game? <laughs> Is this... Has the power never left me? Have I... Have... Hey! Let's get taps on. Uh, the, the, pow the power of the toots never left me. I was always the toots so chosen one. I guess. <laughs> Hello! I am, I am, I am tooting my way through this game. The highest note playable in trombos is high. Okay, I. The highest. The, the highest pitch note in the trombone is still an embarrassment. One thing I don't miss about playing the trombone is what it does to your lips. It just... your lips become so swollen, even with practice. And it's just like, they're so sensitive. Forever. Oh, that was it. Well, I hope that was enough to... I hope that was enough to appease the, uh, the boon. <laughs> All the tooltips are true in the baboon verse. I ain't okay with that. Yo. Thank you. Yes, we're, we're doing that. We're definitely gonna fill this thing the rest of the way. Here we go. Alright, let's see what happens. The Toot Vessel awakens! What is my life right now? <laughs> what is my life? You gotta click too. Like every other thing, it's like, yeah, you're alright to, you're alright to, you know, you're alright to hit the button if you want to do it on your keyboard. But oh, you want to destroy your, your mouse finger? Yeah, go right ahead. Congrats, you've unlocked a video. You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Character polygon. All right, I feel a little attacked here. So we need another 2,500. Okay, so we'll be. Yeah, I'm certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Yeah, see, there's like three circles on it. Fill the vessel with toot so that the triple clef may awaken. <laughs> Sending my clicks. Yes, please do. <laughs> you cool, dude? Okay. I guess we'll. I just we'll, guess, we'll keep we'll keep going through all the easier ones, and we'll just go up in uh, we'll go up in in state every so often. Okay, so if we want to be, <laughs> let's be let's be let's continue to be horn lord. Um. Okay, so I got Blue Danube. Yep. Are you ready? Okay, no. Stars and Stripes. Sounds terrifying. Beethoven's Fifth. God Save the Queen. Alright, let's... Let's all let's all pour one out. Uh, the Royal Anthem is Commonwealth and Realms and Territories, also known as Our Country Tis of the United States. And, um, again, this is a song I only actually know the lyrics for the Ren and Stimpy version. 
uh, which is uh, which is the uh, Royal Canadian Kilted Yaxman. Like I couldn't upgrade that one fast enough. Our country reeks of cheese. Our yaks are really large, and they smell like rotting beef carcasses. And we have to clean up after them, and our saddle sores are the best. We proudly wear women's clothing, and searing sands blow up our skirts. And the buzzards think for overhead, and poisonous snakes will devour us whole. And our bones will bleach in the sun. And we will probably go to hell. And that is our great reward for being of the Royal Canadian Kilted Yaxman. <laughs> <laughs> the uh that's the Ren and Stimpy version. I don't remember the one from I don't remember the one from I don't remember the one from Freakazoid. Voice of an angle, an obtuse angle, thank you. Uh Ode to Joy. I've always liked Ode to Joy. It's weird Ode to Joy is like a two-star though. <laughs> There's over 3,000 tons of brass to produce a single trombone. It's like the katana of the music world if they, if, you know. You know, if the katana sort of flopped out like rubber every time you drew it. I love that song so much. I never ever got a chance to play it when I did play trombone. I probably would have liked to have done it. <laughs> I have to choose just one of those songs. Oh dear. All right. Oh, yeah. oh McDonald. Oh jeez. Wow. Okay. Oh hey, it's the actual Canadian anthem, <laughs> not the uh, not the kilted Yaxman anthem. All right. All the all the Canadians have to uh, have to stand as we play this and apologize. I wish I knew how heavy toots I had right here. In real life, there are over nine songs that feature a trombone. It's that I would believe. A moose alights on a tree, sheds a tear.
A beaver actually. Yeah, no, we, got, we definitely had a lot of beaver happening there. Oh, we, 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 we're doing okay. We're going good. We're going good. Um. Pardon me. Back to track select. What's the most Canadian animal? It's a tie between the beaver and the moose. Although America does have beavers and moose, so I don't know. Is there like a unique animal? <laughs> is, there a, is there a unique animal? Uh, Danny boy, oh boy, now we're going to Ireland. Uh, this timeless Irish ballad set to the tune of Londonberry Air isn't typically played at full volume on a trombone. <laughs> Time to change that. Oh, Danny boy. It takes 1,000 workers a full year to produce a single trombone. And it only takes one trombone player to make everybody regret having done it. Oh yeah. I keep trying to get fancy on that downswing and it keeps punishing me for it. And just like a guy singing Danny Boy to pop, this song just won't fucking end. Stop. Someone class him, please. Go, Danny boy. <laughs> Danny boy, I love you a lot less now. There we go. <coughs> oh god, I'm dying. Alright, let's... Is there an Australian song? I'm just gonna like str scroll through and see if I if I recognize a, an Australian song here. Commander Tokyo. Oh, ooh, I, I. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't like as an Australian. I don't think it's an Australian. Oh, let, let's. Ah, oh, well, we gotta do this one. We gotta do Old Grey Mare because she ain't what she used to be. So we gotta do this. There's uh, there's yeah. So like, there's no um, there's no Australian song in here. Uh, it would seem. Which is uh, a little upsetting. I would have liked a little bit of, like, you know, Waltzing Matilda, maybe? On the, uh... You know, Waltzing Matilda on the trombone, maybe? That's fine. Australia gets left out of all the games. Let's, uh, let's go see how the old Grey Mare is. The trombone is related to the trumpet. They are cousins. The trumpet never calls, uh, to wish the trombone happy birthday. <laughs>
Oh dear, I don't even know how many toots we have right now. Let's, uh... Let's do maybe one more and then go check on our old friend, the, uh... The serenade was written for strings, but we've added trombone and trap drums. Mozart would have approved. Yeah. I think so, too. Let's hit, let's hit Mozart with the, uh, in England trombone dispelled the trombone. <laughs> that hurt. Um... <laughs> Mozart. <laughs> I killed you, Mozart. You need to get out of here. The first day I blew into my trombone, I blew a giant getting hole in Mozart's chest. He died. I even came close to an S on that one when I was like in the middle of it just beefing so hard I could have opened my own hamburger chain. Oh, that's how many I've got. Alright, let's go feed the- let's go feed the- Hey, Robokai, check the leaderboards. Okay, fine. Let me- let me go back. Let, 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 let me go- go check leaderboards. We need to be- why am I not Horn Lord? There we go. Let's put a hat on Horn Lord. Okay, so let's just go back here then. Uh... Arena is the one who bought the game for me, so they're just flexing on me at this point. <laughs> just flexing on me. But how did you do it, old grey mare? Oh. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm not looking ever again. <laughs> uh, just ha hanging it up. Just hanging it up. How Let's go, baboon. How, how you doing, baboon? We need to, we need to put more toots in. <laughs> Back sniping on your skulls and appearing on the global top. You see, there is a story um, I have for doing that. Um, there's a tower defense game uh, on Steam. Um, I can't remember its name. I think it's like Tower Control 2 or something. Let me just actually, let me just. After we get this, I'm gonna go check it. After I, after I destroy my finger, I'll give myself a chance to like rest my finger here after I beat this up. But it's a. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, it's a game about you and this this AI guy trying to uh, trying to sort of prevent these bugs from destroying a whole bunch of places that you're visiting, um, and you know linking up with other AIs and things like that. But um, it has a global leaderboard as well. If I lock the video game, yep. So I've unlocked the sound set muted. All right. Yeah, no, there's still a little a little thing down there we've got to fill up. Let me just like alt tab real quick and check this, because I know I I'm sure I know what it's called. Um, let me just get the name of it, because I, I want to get the name of it right. Because the second I say it, I know cool guy is gonna like go into conniptions. Let me just see if I can't find it here. Yeah, okay, it's defense grid, defense grid, defense grid two. Um, cool guy, uh, I beat a stage. Now, Cool Guy is the kind of guy who would heavily optimizes everything. And I beat a stage that he had done, like, absolutely insane work on. And I 
beaten his score by about 50 points. He does not know how, and I do not know how, I've managed to beat him on that point score. Um, because, like, I was like, yeah, I didn't know what to do, so I just, like, watched a guide for the first, like, minute to see what they were putting down, did, and then just winged it the rest of the way, and apparently that beat his optimization. <laughs> so this is, I know what this feels like, it's fine. Um... Does that just mean I won't play any sound? That's, that, that just sounds awful. Um... Most famous piece from Holt's Orchestral Suite, The Planets. This one, also one of the most famous pieces written on a 5-4 time signature. Oh, God. 5-4. Imagine that. There's like... Uh, some claim that Mozart's last words were for dying were, at least I got to use a trombone. Yeah, that were the last things he said before I destroyed him. Oh, look, the hat's on the trombone. Okay. this song from somewhere. It's probably used in like a cartoon. Yeah, I'm recognizing it. In terms of music stuff, it pretty much has less range. That'll probably fuck with my head then. Uh, I mean, let's just let's just keep the good times rolling, right? Um, I actually have uh, on a cassette tape, um, "Flight of the Bumblebees" played on trombone. It's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard. Um, is it? Is it like a, an easy one I haven't done yet? I can't ask. Okay, let's do Skip to My Lou. I know Skip to My Lou. I never played it, but possibly derived from a Creole... Cr cr sorry if I mispronounced that. Folk song, this dance was popular during Abraham Lincoln's youth in southern uh, Indiana. I almost called it southern India. Students' trombone generally cost between 100 and $300, but professional trombone could cost over $2 billion, and it would still sell... Sorry, I got ambushed. I got I got ambushed at the start of that song. They could get maybe a hundred miles an hour. Just like with a fucking fist out. Good lord. 
god. This fucking thing just came in swinging at me. Holy shit, I've, I've never felt more like rushed at, like, with like a, a knife than that song. That song, that song definitely came from my throat for a Well, you may have me outscored on that one, but, um. Uh, I think I was the real winner that day. <laughs> I almost want to just, like, leap up to, to like. Let's, let, let's go with the classic. To this day, scientists really don't know how a trombone makes sound. It's actually the pure distilled sound of regret. Oh no, it's a really funky one. Happy birthday! If it's your birthday and you heard this song, happy birthday! I cannot play perfectly for you, that's my gift to you. The scar mix that that makes a lot of sense. Um, how are we doing on? Uh, yeah, we can go. We can go. We can. Go, can I suggest a song? Yes, you can. If you want to hear any of those those particular songs. I have questions, but I don't think I'm gonna get that answered. Yeah, if you want, if you want to hear a song, a song, go for it. It is a good song. <laughs> is it the really hard one you said you said no one is ever ready for? Oh yeah, baboons. Okay, baboons. Yeah, I was. I've been eyeing off baboons for a while, um, and I and I'm like almost certain baboons is gonna like hurt me. I just love this music. It's just not their best work. <laughs> okay, eight bit sound set. Shall we do eight bit baboons? I suppose is the question. Or would you like to- Oh, I jumped out on him while he was still telling me things. Um, hold on, he may have more to tell me. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Okay, so there's still a little more to fill it up with. Okay, so that's cool. Sorry about that, I got, I got very excited about going to play baboons, but I, uh... I'm, t I'm taking the hat off for this one, though. Alright. Baboons this way. Alright. Let me just ah, crack my knuckles here. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that, my hand still hurts. <laughs> my uh, my left hand injury that has caused forced me to a professional trombone player is known as a tromboner. That's like trombonus wouldn't work much better. Alright, here we go guys.
Oh, they're a bit off the beat. Oh no! Oh no. I'm being pranked by the monkeys now. Absolutely destroyed Baboon Song. I am the victor. I am not the top of the leaderboard. But I think I did okay. I think I did okay. I fought the monkeys and I won. Not I would never normally able, ever be able to defeat a baboon. Now check the leaderboards. Oh uh, boy. I slowly. I slowly turn to Arena. Well now, who's laughing now? Uh, am I... Uh, <laughs> better pick up your game. Uh, so, I'm 730 in the world. Let's take a look at this. What was my score? Oh yeah, I got a lot of work to do before I start getting on, on, that, on that sort of thing. Man. Super Saiyan Arcanine. That's a that's a mental image. How does I just go scratch my back here for a sec? Ah, oh, this playing trombone stuff is very sweaty. <sighs> and my and my entire body like still hurts a little. <clears throat> I wonder how many of those are cheating though. <laughs> like that's my favorite thing is to like look at like like leaderboards. I just say so, like someone just named like Jim, and he's got like the like an over a stack overflow as his score. Jim no PD, one of the most famous solo piano pieces ever written. It's also considered an important precursor to modern ambient music. I can assure you that a lot of them aren't cheating. Yeah, I would like those seem like like sensible scores, like. Like, if someone was cheating, they would have something on there that was just like, they only had to press it once and they'd get like, you know, a hundred million points. Yeah, so... 34 countries of outlawed use of trombone. In six countries, the flat use of trombone is punishable by death. Sadly, not in my country. Uh, you, you're just punished by cringe. This is not a song I expected to be tromboning. I was wondering when, the, when it was the shoe was gonna drop. I feel like this is the kind of version you'd hear in like Hypno Space Outlaw.
picked that completely. <laughs> what a... What a sneak attack that was. <laughs> they went for me. They went for me, but I was ready. Alright. Alright, guys. It's, uh... It's time, it's time for the Star Spangled... I, I know this is gonna get silly. Later given new lyrics and adopted as the National Anthem of the United States, this song was originally written in 1780 for the London's Anacreontic Society. <laughs> Wonder what that word means. Trombones contain spit- yeah, okay, look, that's, that's exactly what they're for. You basically open the spit valve to ruin someone's carpet. Or shoes. If I make any mistakes, it's because I've got tears in my eyes. An eagle just landed outside my window. And it gave me a thumbs up. I didn't know eagles had thumbs. What are you doing to- Oh god, fireworks, I'm blind! See how I did on that one. Fucking who is the who's patriotic now? Holy shit! <laughs> who is the most patriotic person in this building? <laughs> so, uh, okay. So apparently, uh, Anacreonic Anacreon was a Greek poet who's known for two things: being drunk and making song poems about being drunk. So basically, the American national anthem is a drinking song repurposed, which is like that's pretty cool. <laughs> Quite frankly, it explains a lot. Um, damn, no mess or nasty, no mess or nasty in my in my American national anthem. Yeah, that's about right. <sighs> um, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm leveled up enough for that yet. Hava Nagila. Okay, Hava Nagila. Let's try Hava Nagila. One of the first modern folk songs in the Hebrew language, this has become a staple at Jewish w weddings at bar, bat, mitzvah celebrations. Okay, um... I, I... Without trombones, they never could be in ska music. Draw your conclusions from this factoid. <laughs> if time travel existed, ska would not, and neither would the trombone. Look at my face right now.
happy because he's the home lord and I sh okay I, d I I don't think I deserve that but all right let's go to the baboon there's no dog but there's a baboon all right let's see if we can't awaken that treble unleash the awakening This is just punishing me for playing the trombone. It was like, oh, you played the trombone? You played you played the trombone? This is what you get. This is what you get. This is what you deserve. This is what this is this is what all simmers get. Okay, thank <laughs> Huh. Okay. Incredible. Huck. Shoot vessel of song. It awakens no more. Memories are shattered mist. Was there a second one? No. Surely not. I just wanted to <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Okay. Alright. So it looks like um there was another thing we could look at as well. So we'll play a song and then we'll go to it. Because I get this distinct feeling we're in for we're in for yet more um horrible adventure. Yeah, Blue Danube. This will be a nice one. Originally considered only a mild success, this Austrian waltz has become the most popular piece of, one of the most popular pieces of music in the classical repertoire. <laughs> Unleash Ultima! 62 BPMs. The average baboon can live to be over three... That's, that's not a trombone fact. As this song has gone on longer, my posture has just like slid down into like... Like I'm in like the, the struggle of my life and I'm, and I'm just barely holding... I think it's just, I'm naturally just, it's all coming back to me and it's all, I'm starting to cringe into myself. Good grief. Ugh. <coughs> Still essing it, baby. Uh, I'm getting achievements like the music enjoyer, so that's good to know. Hey, let's go to cards. We haven't been to cards yet. Let's go to cards. Welcome to your collection. Play the main game to earn toots and then spend them on trombone cards. Can you collect all 50? What? What? Let's, 
let's get a sack of, let's get a sack of cards, guys. Let's buy a sack of cards. Pack a sack, cards a tooth. Yo, look at that. Four fresh, unique trombone cards. Do not eat. I'm gonna fucking eat them. I'm gonna choke on these things. Oh, I gotta click some more. You are you are a war criminal. Okay, we got some. We got the trumpet, the coward's trombone. I'm. That is exactly what an AI would draw if you asked it to draw a, any horn instrument. It cannot be muted. It's immutable. Uh, we got the slide. This is the funny part of the trombone that goes in and out. Note goes up, note goes down. Without this, you don't have a trombone. You have a trumpet. Disgusting. Actually, is it just like you just have a horn? Like, because the trumpet has valves. More things should have slides on them. Correct, actually. Life would be a lot better if we had slides on literally everything. Uh, Polidoro de Caravaggio. 16th century Italian painter who painted what may have been the first artistic depiction of a woman playing a trombone in the panel, Apollo with the Muses from 1520, excerpt above. Damn. Dude really, really captured the first war crime. Uh, <laughs> C.W. Gluck. Gluck is one of the first to introduce trombone to ballet and opera, beginning with Don Juan. This may have later influenced Mozart to use the trombone in his compositions. He could eat 30 hot dogs in one sitting. <laughs> Probably through his trombone. Let's get a let's get a second sack of 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 cards. Maybe we can get some dupes. So this is Al Gray. This American jazz trombonist who played with Count Basie is known for his plunger mute techniques. The plunger is like the plunger mute is like the coolest thing you can do on the trombone. Like, like you, obviously you can do it on the on the on the trumpet too. I guess if you want to be on the horn, if you want to be lame. But doing it on the trombone was like. Like, you've only got two hands, and one of your hands is, like, used to, like, make, make sure your trombone doesn't, like, fall. Because you're, like, you're trying to balance, like, the most imbalanced instrument on your shoulder. Like, you've got it on your shoulder, but you've got to hold it there. Like, there is no balance to a trombone. It is, it is insanity. You will kill someone with it if you're not careful. As an American, he probably ate a ton of hot dogs, it's true. And, like, the plunger, the plunger is basically, it looked like a plunger. You put it over the thing, and you'd be able to make it sort of like a wah-wah, sort of. Wow, 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 because you're blocking the air, basically. And uh, and if you didn't have a properly sealed, if you didn't have a pro have a properly sealed spit valve, you would kill someone, which is like a high pressure spit shot. So uh, Al Gray uh, probably killed quite a few people in the process of developing the plunger. So this is Melba Liston. This Missouri-born jazz trombonist and composer was the first woman trombonist to play in big bands during the 1940s. And later worked on arrangements for Motown Records. She could eat 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. What they don't tell you is the sitting took about four weeks. Uh, she was trapped in a well for four weeks and they could only feed her hot dogs because they were the only things that they actually could fit in the hole in the well um, because she sealed herself in by accident. So until they could get the seal off, they basically were just like dropping hot dogs through the hole. Uh, okay, we've got a, we've already got our first dupe. We've only opened seven cards and we already have a dupe. This is, this is basically how cards work. And then we've got uh, Rachmanov. <laughs> Rachmaninoff. This... Leading Russian-born composer, pianist, and conductor was one of the most popular of the late Romantic period. When he ordered hot dogs, he'd say he'd request them, as long as my name, please, and everyone would laugh. Okay, so we can't afford any now, um, so we gotta, like, we do have an extra one, though. <sighs> okay, so we have, we have a spare copy of a card, so let's turd one of them. Oh, you should want to turn this card into turds, okay. Why did I do that, though? Oh, because if I get enough, if I get enough turds, I can build a card. <laughs> Why did it have to? Is it because it's baboons? It had to be turds. Um. Oh fuck it. Old McDonald, let's go. There are more baboons on Earth than humans. That's that's a lot of baboons.
losing my mind, Tom. <laughs> Holy shit! That was a song designed to hurt people! Hey, let's, uh, let's go buy more cards. Let's just, let's just, let's just buy more, no, let's buy more cards. We love card games here. We love card games here at the Time Warriors. Give me my cards! Bab, that's... This ancient Egyptian deification of the Hamadrius Baboon, whose name translates to Bull of the Baboons or Chief of the Baboons, was a deity of the underworld and very relevant to this trombone game. Gustav Mahler. This Austrian-born composer is one of the leading conductors of his time. Due to his Jewish ancestry, his compositions were banned throughout much of Europe during the Nazi era, but they later achieved wide, pop wide popularity. John Philip Sosa. The American March King, Sosa was arguably the greatest of the March composers and had a massive influence on the world of brass instruments. He only ate hot dogs in private. This is where it all began, the part of the trombone where your mouth goes. Don't put your mouth in the other parts. Without this, you've got nothing. You've ever seen a mouthpiece in real life? Try blowing air into it. It hurts. It fucking hurts after a while. Agony is all you get. I can't afford any sex. I'm waiting for something to go wrong. I feel like something's gonna go wrong with those cards. Because there are two baboons. There are two baboons. Oh god. I feel like I'm entering- I'm- Oh, we haven't done the St. James Trombonery. In this parody of a classic jazz standard, the musician sees his trombone at a trombonery and contemplates his life as a tromboner. We have every single person who has ever played that song has had exactly that moment. The trombone is not related to the French horn, they are just friends. It's true. <laughs> Oh yeah, this song. I got the achievement just says S God. It's like I'm not that good, but I'm definitely trying. Let's keep unlocking cards. Let's, give me, give me, give me some more cards, okay? Give me some more cards. I want to buy, I want to buy cards. Oh fuck that guy! Prodigious Austrian composer of more than six thousand pieces, one of the most well-known classical composers of all time. He could eat up to thirty hot dogs in one sitting. An absolute fucking welterweight. J.J. Johnson. 
Indianapolis-born J.J. Jones was the most influential jazz trombonist of all time, credited with demonstrating that the trombone could be played in a fast bebop style. He did 10 hot dogs in one sitting. That was mostly because he was playing, like, pretty much most of the time. Uh, so, like, they basically just had to, like, lob hot dogs in his mouth. He'd be there for a very long sitting, but they'd only be able to fit, like, 10 in his mouth in between breaths. Oh, we got another Al Gray. I feel really bad about pooping Al Gray. Um... Oh, Beethoven, uh, Mozart's natural enemy. The influential composer and pianist, best known for his symphony number no. 5, lost his hearing late in life, possibly as a side effect of eating 50 hot dogs in one sitting. Do not use your ear as a hot dog holder. Just take them one at a time from the plate. Uh, anyway, there's. I did notice there's an achievement if you go over to Mozart and just turd him straight up. Oh. Damn. It won't let you turd him. It won't let you turd your lot like, the card. Dang. I saw him in concert one time. I'm choosing I'm choosing to believe you mean you saw Mozart in concert one time. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn a card. Yeah, we still have we still have plenty. I don't ha I don't have enough turds to build a card yet though. Okay. Let's let's just keep going, let's keep going. Let's let's find we've we've still got so many pieces of music we've yet to like ruin. Jingle bells, here we go. Most famous the most famous prehistoric trombones were 40 feet long could weigh over 600 pounds. I saw the Flintstones. Definitely gotta devour as many hot dogs as we can. Ugh. I pressed build? Oh, did I? Did I? I don't think I did. No, I didn't press build. Um, alright. A little bit more. Give me, give me. I wasn't there earlier. <laughs> Greetings, noble trombona! Thank you for summoning me! My name is Will. I need some things the best kept secret for now. I assume you summoned me on purpose and we're just mindlessly clicking the chaos candle? Well, what say you, noble trombona? Greetings! Only an inquisitive soul would find me here. To become the trombone champ? Yes. Buddy, do you even really know what the trombone champ is? Nope. Well, you will in time, yes. But we'll show you the way. I can help you become the trombone champ, but I need magic to do so. My magic requires sacrificing trombone cards. Why does my magic require you sacrifice trombone cards, you ask? It's best to ask questions like this. Just go with the flow. So, will you agree to help me? Yes. Excellent. Yes, he seems very excited and, and trustable. Cool. No worries. He's like a little rolled up hot dog. Okay. 
currently acquire one Rimsky, one Music Storm, and one DYO. Can you give me these cards? No. Oh, well, that's disappointing. If you change your mind, summon me again. Yeah, I don't have those cards, so I can't give those cards to you. But the game has definitely given them the Mark of the Devil, um, which is fucking great. <laughs> really excited to, really excited to, like, Satan myself up. Oh good, this is the mute button. I'm like, what is that? Alright, let's buy some more cards. We got another JJ Johnson. Don Drummond, a legendary Jamaican Scar Trombonist with a troubled history of mental illness and murder, ultimately ending with his death at the Bellevue Asylum in Kingston. Tchaikovsky. Among the most popular composers of the Romantic period, this Russian composer is well known for the Nutcracker, Sweet, Romeo and Ju Juliet, and countless more. He could eat eight, eight hot dogs in one sitting. J.S. Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach is widely considered one of the most influential composers of all time, particularly, particularly due to his Baroque compositions, but mostly because he invented the hot dog. And he perfected it. And so that's why everybody says, if it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. Um... Yeah, so I have another Johnson. Hold on a second, I clicked entirely the wrong button. Let me go over here and, uh... And, uh... Turn that card. Right, so... I see what I have to do now is actually when I go over here, if, if we don't own the card, we can build it using the turns. So there we go, we have Mozart Music Storm. This Austrian mage holds the key to the E-Wing of Tempo Keep. He will light you up with the sound of his sweet keys. You're not a real musician at all. Is there like... I swear to God, how do I get to the other Babu? I'm sure it's not important right now. I know there's another baboon. I know there's another baboon. Let's just let's just keep playing. Tchaikovsky, you cannot use Kananans as an instrument. Boy, he proved everybody wrong. Oh, we didn't do Silent Night. That's another easy one. Let's uh, let's get our Christmassy stuff out of the way here. Trombones not float in water, so don't accidentally drop your trombone into the river last week. I actually. I actually sold my trombone this year. I haven't played it for like over a decade. Still made good sound though. Give it to some kid who wanted to learn how to play it. I hope they broke it. Why is it the, the 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 sheer amount of points you get for that one? 
low. Because, like, a lot of the other ones were like, oh, yeah, that's not much. Like, where does that even put me? Yeah, see, like, I don't know. It's just a lot of points for, for, for what seems... Seems a little weird. It's it's, it's stinkipation more like. All right, let's let's just buy straight up two sacks. Two sacks of cards. Here we go. Sack number one. We've got Franz Schubert. This Austrian composer with immense body of work and also like an immense like chin uh, is considered one of the best of the 19th century. Although he isn't widely well, actually his chin's gone missing uh, in his neck. It was appreciated up until his death. His one up one down color style allowed him to more easily consume hot dogs. Yeah, I just sort of flipped one up with one. Oh, that's another tight Tchaikovsky. We've got Rimsky Korsakov. This Russian composer infamously wielded two last names in order to double his power level, was a master, or or master of orchestration and could eat a whole lot of hot dogs, so the exact number is unknown. And Claude Debussy. This French composer sometimes considered first impressionist composer rebelled against classical forms of compositions and strove to create new modes, sometimes based on his own portraits hot, hot, hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Just, they're losing control of reality over here. Without the trombone, none of us would be here. As the glue that binds us together and the force that keeps us moving forwards, often called the baboon of instruments, is the alpha and the omega. J. Strauss II. The East Austrian born composer wrote over 500 pieces credited with the popularizing the waltz in 19th century Viennese. Sadly, his baboon like facial hair prevented him from eating hot dogs. That's like. <laughs> Trazom. A mortal guardian spirit tasked with preserving the order of the bass and treble clefts. As a guardian spirit unable to eat hot dogs but imbued with the power of at least 10. Okay? That's, uh, that's definitely um, negative from Mozart right there. And Gustav Mahler, this Austrian-born composer, was one of the leading conductors of his time due to his... Oh, yeah, we, we, we definitely already did that guy. Uh, which means we can um, poop him and Tchaikovsky. Did I do Tchaikovsky again? I, I guess I did Tchaikovsky twice. Sorry, Gustav, I gotta, I gotta turn you. I feel so bad about doing this to you. You, you didn't deserve that. And now, now Tchaikovsky, I gotta turn you too. Um, so I've got enough I should be able to build this card now, and that's enough to, to feed to the little Satan. This is a game is, this game is a rabbit hole. I knew that going into this. <laughs> wow, this trombone card is intentionally off blank, so you can design your own. Hold on, I think I got something for this, hold on. Hold on, let me just, let me get my, hold on. Micro peak card. There we go. Now, now we gotta ha go handle our delightful cards over to uh, to card Satan here. Ah, you returned. Shall we continue? Yeah. Don't become the champion. Yep. 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 Yes. Yeah, I can give you those cards. I got them. Are you sure? No take backsies. Yeah, no, it's fine. Here we go. Why are we doing this? You okay? I don't have to tap. I don't have to click it all, do I? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why? Why? Why you gotta do this stupid? Why you gotta- why you gotta increase the suffering in my existence on this one? What did I do to you? What did I do to you, little guy? Amongst other things. Ooh, a silver trombone! Okay, we're unlocking the- we're unlocking some new trombone designs, this is cool. I'm down for this. Alright, that was it, huh? Uh, it looks like the next one he wants is this one? Well, that's... Interesting. I get. I guess I might have the other one he needs as well, but he's gonna need whatever that one is. So let's keep playing. <laughs> We're doing this because you didn't learn your lesson from Cold of the Lamb. Um, the lesson I learned with Cold of the Lamb is kill old people. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to. I'm not supposed to, want to take from that. <laughs> 
All right, let's... Trombone Skies. Okay. This electronic track is an attempt to capture what it feels like to play the trombone. Okay. Cows love the sound of a trombone because they are smart. That's true. Basically, just <laughs> we're just basically like just going insane collecting things now. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Uh, so another JJ Johnson, another trombone, another design your own card, and Jack Teagarden. This sometimes jazz trombonist was a prominent performer in the pre bebop era. Performed alongside Louis Armstrong, specializing in New Orleans style jazz. He could eat a dozen hot dogs in one sitting. Cool. Uh, so let's just um. <laughs> I fucking hate this so much. Could have been literally anything else, but it had to be. It had to be the poopy. It had to be. It had to be big poo poo, didn't it? Okay. I don't know how much longer I can keep playing this game because it is like my clicky finger is starting to be like I'm. I'm angry at you, Robo Kai. So let's play Sugar Plum Fairy. Playing trouble in the apartment is a great way to make friends with your neighbors. It's a great way to start and end a dispute. I've just realized what I put myself in for here.
Finger mm. slipped. <laughs> Cards. <laughs> buy more cards. We need to buy more cards. We need to buy more cards so we can get whatever that is. More Trazom. The Treble Clef. Favorite Clef of the Primordial Baboon Toot Seat to Tom. This Clef represents light. There can be no light without dark. Brass, the most powerful element. Brass is used to create trombones and nothing else. To this day, science scientists have no idea where brass comes from. C.W. Gluck. Yeah, well, we got him already, too. Which means we can... We can turd a Trasm. Thank you, Tra... Thank you, thank you Mozart. Uh, in reverse. Oh, we can turd a trombone. What a, what a horrible thing to say. And... Uh, a Cluck. I like that save straight after you do it, like you were gonna like do like a, an oblivion style dupe on it or something. Alright, let's go. What am I what am I making here? I I feel really bad for Sergei Prokofiev, uh, that we just constructed him with poo poo. This Russian Soviet pianist and composer composed masterpieces across multiple musical genres. He famously consumed hot dogs backwards, top to bottom rather than side to side. That would be really scary to see. <laughs> I, that's, that's that's like a watching watching things in hell kind of way. Yo, hey, what's up, dude? I also have more magic to perform than that magic requires trombone cards. I currently require one Sergei, one Melby, and one Chai Chai. Can you give me these cards? You better fucking believe I can give you all these cards. Sum summon for me another chest that I may click. Chai Chai is definitely the name Tchaikovsky would get if he was in an anime where he was a little girl. There we go. Now the songs will go faster. Alright. I'm still kind of confused though here, because I could have sworn that's just like, there's gotta be. Can you. Can I, can I go down there? Yeah, no, get out of my way. I want to go down. Yeah, that's cool. Take Nabbit! Summon one Ohio. I'm still waiting to go back to, uh, to, to... With the, with the, the, the big, uh, Cult of the Lamb update to return to Ohio. Okay, well, let's... Let's get this going. Um... Long Tail Limbo? Alright, an original electronic piece written by the legendary Max Maximalist Max Tundra. Despite its name, the trombone does not have any bones. It's true, it's hollow. Much like the Earth. Oh dear.
feel like I'm in a fight of my life right now. Holy. Max Tundra, please. Yeah, beat that one big time. Having a coffee. Oh dear. <laughs> S Ultra God. Well, a lot of achievements for for uh, for for super S altering these things. So what 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 cards does it need now? Looks like I might have everything it needs except that one. So. Yum! Are these beefy treat sandwiches or something else entirely? No one knows for sure. One thing is certain, they're every composer's favorite treat. Even if they like eating, simply holding these imbues one with power. From 1421 to present. Okay, the trumpet, yep. Ratchimanov, yep. And Gluck again, damn. That boy just keeps on coming, doesn't he? Okay, well we gotta, we gotta poop him. We gotta poop, we gotta poop the Ratchimanov. We gotta, we gotta... <laughs> I gotta flush one of these. God, this game. And another Gluck. Um. And now we can make this one. But what is it? This mystery. These amazing mysteries. Igor Stravinsky. Revolutionary Russian composer, best known for his thunderous ballet, The Rite of Spring, who could easily eat 35 hot dogs in one sitting, which may explain the power level evident in his music. Alright, well, I don't see any other pentagrams on anything, so let's get the little Satan boy back. Hello again. When we first met, I said I needed trombone cards to perform my magics. There is magic in these cards, but I cannot access the cards without you. You locked me in the Chaos Candle, you see. So I could not assist the baboons. So it's a long lock within the candle that I've forgotten his name. Maybe he tampered with my memories. Do you remember the knowledge that a legendary trombone would one day find me? Could that be you? Whatever, let's continue. I currently require one IGS, two, one G -A J S two, and one Trev. Can you give me these cards? Sure. Yeah. My gratitude, and here we go. All right. Just keep enhancing. Just keep enhancing my trombones. Honestly, I probably would have kept playing trombone if I had a red trombone. Oh, that's right, I gotta destroy my finger. You mother hubbard. Video gaming at its finest. There we go. Blue trombone. For playing the blues, obviously. I mean, if, if I didn't make that joke, somebody else would have made that joke. You know what? <sighs> okay, so we got another one over there. We gotta get. Well, let's, let's just keep doing this. I'm just gonna keep summoning. I'm just gonna keep summoning Satan's until um, until something funny happens. I still don't know where. I still don't know where the other baboon is. <laughs> but uh, you don't need to tell me where the other baboon is, because uh, I will. I will figure it out one day. God, why don't we just? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this famous Italian song was written to commemorate the opening of a funicular railway on Mount Vesuvius, but nowadays it makes people think of pizza, pizza, pizza! Oh no. Between, yep, no, we already knew, we already knew the spider fact. You're, you're looping through.
Fuck you, yeah! I <laughs> destroyed you! <laughs> you hold no power over me, pizza song! Holy shit. <laughs> Whew. Vanquished. Franz Schubert. Yep, I got him already. Arthur Pryor. Um, so this prestigious Missouri-born trombonist wrote some of the most well-played trombone pieces played with Sousa's band and was a prolific composer of band music. He'd eat nine hot dogs in one sitting. Max Tontra. <laughs> oh, we only just saw him. Maximalist electronic composer and producer of bespoke soups. In addition to Long Tail Limbo, he produced a trio of critically acclaimed albums which you should purchase immediately. Hmm... The Glissando. My brain immediately thinks that this doesn't actually exist and this is a hot dog reference. Like, my brain is immediately like, that's, that, that's a hot dog joke. They're just, they're just... A glissando is a slide from one tone to another. The trombone is one of the few instruments capable of performing a true smooth glissando. I don't trust that at all. What? Did, did nobody else... Did you move? What did I just do? Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna step back from that. I'm just gonna slowly step back from that. Um, stop moving. Uh, what's this? Collect. Oh yeah, that's just the cards. My brain is my brain is small. This bugs me though. I swear there must be another. There must be another trombone somewhere. Oh god, what am I doing? Hitting belts I shouldn't be doing. There's, there's, there must be another way to the other baboon that I'm just not seeing, because my brain is small. Let's just keep going. I'm sure that I'm sure the baboon will will, will reveal itself at some point. Um. God, do we, are you ready? An extremely dark edgy. Let's 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 do let's do. <laughs> Stars and Stripes will get us in trouble. Um, let's do Scar Song, you know what? A Scar Song because everyone online seemed to want one. Are you happy now? Please leave us alone. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a Scar Song. Because, um, because we hate ourselves. I actually like Scar. I've always liked Scar, but, um, I hate the trombone. <laughs> It doesn't sound like anything. <laughs>
fucking hate this. <laughs> oh, my head, my head is actually collapsing. This might be the last song for the for the stream. That even got an A was a miracle. Oh my god. Yeah. Right, let's sack it up. So, more trumpet, more Rachmanoff, the baboon. These virile old world monkeys often called the trombones of the animal kingdom. <laughs> sense of Bobby, the bull of the baboons. It's relative to the primordial baboons that watch over the twin toot vessels. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, and Al Grey. Okay, next one. Gustav Holst, um, this English composer, best known for his orchestral suite, The Planets, also played the trombone professionally, which means he's worthy of our respect. Being English, he did not eat hot dogs. We got some brass, we got more Gluck. Gluck turns up a lot. That's just Tchaikovsky. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn to, turn to Grey. Let's turn to, let's turn to a Gluck. Um, let's turn to Trumpet. And let's, uh, let's turn some Brass. And a Schubert too. Alright, oh, uh, and we got a Rutschman off as well. So that, we got a lot, of, we got a lot of turds we can do. Anyway, let's, um, let's build this mystery card. Glenn Miller, the trombonist and band leader, extremely popular in the early 1940s, started off flying to France to entertain US troops during World War II. His aircraft disappeared over the English Channel during bad weather. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Hey, little dude. It's good to see you again. Let's continue our work. I currently require one Glenny, one Caravisi, and one Ramadingdong. <laughs> can you give me these cards? Hell yeah, I can! Give me, give me more wacky... Give me more... <laughs> give me more tel trombone colors. Just, like, lay them on me. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do one more song. Uh, and I'm not going to do well at it. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do well at it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that song. The song that. The song that your mama warned you about. Cause she said, "Don't play that song. You'll blow your arm out. You won't be able to be able to play the trombone again." A little robot guy. And I was like, "The hell with you, mom." And I tried to do it. And Mozart walked into the room and was like, "Damn, who's playing so well?" And then I put the plunger on the thing and shot Mozart straight through the chest with the spit valve, and he died. And he was like, "Oh, at least I got to hold a trombone." And then he died. We might be able to go straight on to doing another casting, actually. Hold on a second. Let's just see if he needs one more. Hmm, I feel something within some of these trombone cards. Do you feel the same? Something hiding within this great deck? Anyways. Yeah, I, I already have all of these, so let's... Yeah, let's just do these. I didn't, I didn't see a, I didn't see a thing, so let's just keep summoning trombone colors. Forgetting I have to do this straight afterwards. Break that child! Does anybody else live in a universe of regrets? Ah, uh, Pinku trombone. Yeah. 
We can build this one too. Who are you? Richard Strauss. This leading German composer of operas and symphonic poems was arguably best known for the piece also. Also Sprach's Zarathustra, which we have played here. Whether or not he ate hot dogs is unknown. It's true. We just don't know. We just don't know. Oh, and I need that one too. So I can't, I can't, I can't construct another one. Okay, so let's get the pink out. Where are you? I mean, this one, this one is, is apparently pretty bad, but where are you? This one, there's, there is one. I forget, it's, I've already forgotten its name, but I know it's here somewhere. Are you ready? Okay. Someone said, are you ready? Is, is a fucking, is a fucking kick in the pants. So, an extremely dark, edgy, and cool electronic track. Are you ready to take on these clutch beats? Okay, let me just, my, my left hand is useless, so I can't exactly crack my knuckles. But my, my right my right hand, I'm stretching it, I'm getting it ready. I'm giving it a bit of a wiggle. A bit of a slap on the face. Uh, I'm about to go into Are You Ready? Uh, it's gonna be the last one I play today because uh, because from all the clicking and tromboning, my, my right hand now almost hurts as much as my left one. <laughs> so. Let's go. Sorry, Mozart, I failed you. And also killed you at some point. Very close, though. It's very, very close. Okay, let's see if we get any dupes out of this. What the fuck did I just hear? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so we got our Mozart Music Storm guy back. Um, it's the ear wing of Tempo Keep. Maybe I click on him. Um, Bella Bartok, considered one of the most important composers of the 20th century among, uh, among Hungary's greatest composers. He also helped create ethnomusicology through his study of folk music. He studied but never ate hot dogs. There's the glissando again. And Bill Watros, popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied with jazz pianist Herbis N Herbie Nichols while serving in the US Navy and is well known among trombones for his technical skill and pleasant sound. Neat! Um, yep, I got my second glissando. So let's let's turn the glissy. I was almost certain he would like lead me, like, cause he's got the key to the ear wing of Tempo Key, and I was like, maybe if I click on him enough. I like his belt, wham. What about Mozart? You got anything in there, Mozart? No, just tres him, just tres him. Can I make you yet? Yeah. 
<laughs> he must have been very hungry. I feel... So, the sack boot. Sack butt? Did you know the early trombone... I... So they were like, well, let's not call it the sack butt, because the sack butt... Um, that was a really dumb idea, and everyone keeps laughing every time we do it. What are we gonna call our? What are we gonna call our next level one? You know, and and someone went, "What about the trombone?" And everyone went, "Yeah, no one'll laugh at that." You shut up. Um, what you got for me, little guy? I'm still here, which means I need more cards. Yep, all these ca all these things we own. Yep, let's cook them. Yep, yep. Give me another. Give me another one. I'm guessing this is a German term. I mean... I try not to judge the Germans. God knows history will do it for me. But, um... It's probably from somewhere else. Sure, surely they kind of committed, like, trombo crime um, amongst everything else. The Polygon Trombone. Our power grows. Um. Okay, so we would need to build a... Build another one of those if we wanted to get the next one. And another one of those. So I still got quite a few cards. I know I said the last one was going to be the last one, but that one was actually kind of easy um, compared to what I like was expecting. So we're going to equip the, the Polygon. Um, and we're just going to go... We're just gonna go all in on the Mountain King. Let's fucking pause the Mountain King time. <laughs> let's just let's just get Mountain Kinged. Let's just get Chernobog. Let's do this. King sounds like he's got diarrhea. My hand actually died in the middle of that. Um, if you'd have seen me, I was quite literally just like doing that entirely with my shoulder. And I, was like, <laughs> I was just like shoving my arm at the end there with like the entirety of my being. <laughs> because holy fuck. 
Oh man. Okay. Well, that's good. I, that was that was the death of my my hand. I was expecting. Um. So let's just uh, let's just get the last of those cards uh, <laughs> from the card pack. Let's just get let's just get some more cards. And regardless of whether or not we can get our last color trombone, I'll come back to this one later. Damn. These are all dupes. Oh, okay. Now, I've just noticed, actually, um, it looks like to get the next one, we have to complete literally the entire set. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> We're not doing that one tonight. That's for fucking sure. Holy shit. Good freaking grief, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I do kind of want to see one of the ones we haven't, we haven't made yet, though, so we'll... <laughs> But yeah, like this was this was fun. Um, thank you again to Arena for buying me this game. Literally yesterday, um, or the day before, I can't remember which it was because I was just like, I was thinking about whether or not I was going to be able to hang tough on Resident Evil just because my arm is just so buggered from, as I said at the start of the stream, I I hurt myself. Uh, my my left arm is mostly just bruise <laughs> right now. Like, uh, like, Miyazaki would look at it and be like, Ah, yes! Inspiration for my next swamp in, um... Next swamp in, in Elden Ring, uh, you know, in the shadow of my swamp, my swamp ass, or something like that, or whatever he does. It's like... Like, the swelling, it took... It took the better part of two days to be able to actually, like, pull my shoulder above my head, because the swelling in my elbow was so bad. Um... <laughs> To give you an idea of like the adventure, the adventure towards the ground I had, um, it was it was not fun. Let's just grab one we've never grabbed before. Music, yeah, kind of can't can't really do it without this. Music is what we call the sounds made by trombones. It's like hot dogs for your ears. It sounds really good, except for when it sounds bad. Try to find music that you enjoy and then listen to it a lot. And I think that's probably the wisest words we could get to end this stream on. So once again, thank you everybody for joining me. This was Trombone Champ. Um, there are a lot of mods out for this game. So if my arm isn't healed next week, um, I might be spending like the Easter weekend. And I hope you all have a nice Easter weekend if you do get the days off and all. Um, I might be trying to sneak my way through, um, <laughs> I might be trying to sneak my way through some mods and just install some mods. Because, um, I know for certain there is a there is a trombone variant of One Winged Angel. I would dearly love to play for everybody. I know everyone's probably probably listened to it already, but um, God, it's good, and I kind of want to do it. So yeah, so that may be next week. I'm not feeling too good. I've got a couple of other ideas I might have, you know. But hopefully, I'll be all nice and healed up, and we continue Resident Evil 4 because. Like, I've really, I haven't been playing the game because I've been, like, I'm like, no, I've got to stream it. Well, now I'm at the point where I'm like, well, I want to play it, but I can't because I'm wounded. Um, and just having it, having it up in the WASD position sort of hurts. Playing with the controller, having to hot, I don't have the wrist strength to hold it. So, yeah, so, like, you know, playing Trombone Champ, I only need one hand for that, and, uh, and I've murdered it. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and hopefully... Uh, internet and me not falling over forgiving. I'll see you all next week.